Ten years ago, I bought this 18-volt nickel-cadmium tool kit by Porter Cable. The batteries eventually stopped charging, and they cost over $50 each to replace. I really liked this kit, and all the tools still work, and I hate to have to replace them. I bought this new lithium-ion kit, which I also really like, but I don't want to repurchase the multiple tools. As you can see, all of the new batteries are close enough in voltage they cannot be mounted to the old tools. So I came up with this solution. I decided to use my 3D printer to create an adapter. Using SketchUp, I designed an adapter that would mate with a new battery and mate to an old tool. After several hours of designing, I started the print. This, of course, is an oversimplification since I actually had multiple test prints and multiple test fits. Then it was time to salvage parts off the old batteries. Using a Torx screwdriver, I opened up the battery. I'll throw away or recycle almost everything in here, but to simplify the design, I'll reuse this interface. Using wire cutters, I snipped the positive and negative wires from the actual battery and pulled out the thermistor, which I'll also remove. I only need the positive and negative terminals, but I'll reuse some of the others within my 3D model. The other terminals are only used by the battery charger to prevent overheating. And it should fit in the old tool just like this. The new 20 volt lithium ion batteries are marked with positive and negative. Since I have extra terminal posts from the 18 volt battery, I'll reuse them, paying close attention to the polarity. And now it's time to start soldering. I learned in high school electronics class to always tin your wire before you solder. After around three hours, the 3D model is complete. I've probably spent over 10 hours on this project so far since every prototype has to be printed then tested against the existing object for fit. But I'll significantly extend the life of my older tools, so this is a worthwhile and really fun project. I designed the slots in the model to insert the terminal posts that will contact the new battery, so I press the terminals through the model like this. Here you can see them coming out the other side, ready to see, receive the new battery. The battery snaps into place with a very satisfying click. Now I need to attach the old battery interface to the model and do a little cable management. Although this fits remarkably well, I'll still put a small screw in later into the purple plastic to keep it from coming loose. Now there's nothing left to do but test this out. Let's see if we can get new life out of all these old tools. Thank you. 